Hello everyone! It is Thursday, the 1st of September 2022, and it's 3.18 in the afternoon, which means I need to try really, really hard to keep my story short, because group therapy starts at 4, and I've just checked, and it says it's 30 minutes uh, from me to there, and... I obviously want to leave with at least 15 minutes. So, anyway, um, I've just got back from walking boss and I've had like a revelation. Um, I've been having a lot of them lately. So, first of all, I'm going to say I'm trying really, really hard to remember to not start my videos by saying hi guys, because in 2022, I'm very aware that just referencing everyone generally as guys isn't liked by everyone and I can't do it in my uh, professional stories so I'm, I'm gonna make a real effort to remember to be like hi everyone hi people hi folks yada 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 to um, start having that sink in anyway so I'm walking boss and those of you who've met my dog in person will fully understand what I'm about to say. Um, but Boss is like a big giant child, a bit like me, really. So he will actually be 10 years old in January. And you just wouldn't know that from meeting him. He acts like he's a six month old puppy, but he's relatively big. And those of you who haven't met him in person may have seen him in the background on some of my videos or seen pictures and whatnot. He is a Rockweiler cross Doberman breed, so he's got that sort of big, scary look about him when he starts barking his head off, which unfortunately is every single time we see another dog. So he's been bugging me all day because, because I needed to walk him. Now, I'm going to do a quick update on yesterday. I was going to make a part two video last night, but I thought I'll just wait until now or till today. I just didn't think it would take me until 20 past three to make a video. And yet, even as I say that, I feel like I've been like, go, 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 since I got it up, yet haven't achieved that much, which I always find really interesting. Um, but I choose to see a day like today as amusing instead of how I would in the past see it, which was um, as failing. So I'm having a great day. Now, yesterday, I got far more stoned than even I realized, I think. Um, and I <laughs> I really should have bought the boss. It was one of those, one of those, you know, I learned the hard way. So I hadn't walked it because if you saw yesterday's video, I came straight home from Randy's and I smoked a bunch of weed because I was in extraordinary pain and I'm in extraordinary pain today. Um, obviously no weed, I've got therapy. Um, I haven't even chopped weed. I've got, I, yesterday in the video I was like, I've got one little lonesome fucking capsule left and I went to chop it last night and then I was just like, no, what I need to do is finish what I've got and then be a grown up and go to bed early and then get up early and do my assignment. None of that happened, but that's okay. Except for the fact that I haven't actually chopped up any more wheat. Oh, it's these fucking places that my masseuse has gotten me. They just hurt, like I swear, like this giant hot searing fucking pointing whatever is sticking in me in my back in random places um I'm such a good storyteller aren't I like all the words that I know how to say so properly <laughs> oh, that's sarcasm by the way um so anyway yesterday I did not walk boss he decided and I totally forgot that the dog door had been open because I've been keeping the door shut due to the weather and the mud and um, the fact that I've now had my backyard dug up by an excavator twice last month uh, and the last time was like last week or this week no Monday this week so not that long ago it's only Thursday anyway um, oh, excuse me for a moment 
It's always something bothering me. I'll tell you what. Um, if you can't tell, it's my nose right now. Anyway, so I got stoned. I just fucked around doing whatever I was doing. And then I got up off my couch and my house, there was mud. And we're talking like big clumps of mud everywhere. And I'm like, what is happening? And I went and checked boss. And I didn't have my phone on me. And I'm trying really hard not to be that person who must take photos of everything. Whereas that's quite conflicting because I want to take photos of everything because I literally tell my story every day and plan to continue still telling my stories every day. And actually last night, on a side note, fell asleep realizing that YouTube um, like makes tr uh, transcripts of all of my videos. So if I was to like download all of my videos transcripts, I could literally start putting a book together based on the year. So like, obviously I started on my birthday and it would make more sense, I think, to be like year 20, 22, 23, moving onwards and just sort of start it as this year with the last couple of days. Yeah, well, the first couple of days. I know what I mean. But um, anyway, what was I saying? So I went to check box. And I didn't have my phone on me. I probably should have gone and got it. But I start like his paws, right? We're talking like clumps of mud that were so big. I literally had to pull them out. Um, it took so long to clean his paws because he'd obviously gone outside because the dog door was open from me being at uni, ran around like crazy, you know, doing his zoomies all through the mud and then brought it in it was all over my bed all like so throughout my house to the point where <laughs> i had to vacuum my whole house yesterday the only rooms i didn't like vacuum fully were the spare bedroom and this the two spare bedrooms the meditating room and the solarium room um, because he doesn't really go in there very much um especially if the curtains are closed so the rest of my house though like it needed to be vacuumed anyway because in in all fairness I hadn't vacuumed it since I had gotten Melanie that to come out the last Sunday um but yeah so hindsight's a wonderful thing pick it like trying to like not look like I'm picking my nose oh well I'm making a story that I'm gonna put on the internet for the public to watch <laughs> Oh, I crap myself up. I really do. Anyway, so I'm thinking walking him probably been, would have been better and not quite as painful as vacuuming my whole house, given the pain I was in. But at least my house looks really good again. So that's something. Um, so like I said, I just got back from walking boss and I had this epiphany. And as soon as I realized it, I was like, oh my God, how much sense does this make? So boss clearly doesn't realize he's a big giant dog, right? He also obviously doesn't realize, given the fact that he's a dog, um, that he looks very scary to the next person. I know he's made my big giant overly excited baby, but he doesn't look like that, right? And he's about to say, fuck, someone's walking past because I can hear him. He just barked him. Anyway, so I didn't want to walk where I knew there'd be kids everywhere uh, because it was around school time. And I'm surrounded by schools. And here he comes. I can hear him. He's going crazy. And so if I sort of walk behind me, like down one of the side streets, um, this is this long back road that's along the freeway, yeah? Here he comes. Noisy ass. Anyway, um, there's this particular house and I've always wondered about it because there's like this sign that's like half faded but not completely about a wellness center. Anyway, who, there was a woman in the driveway and this little wee white fluffy looking thing, dog obviously, tiny. Like we're talking, I don't, I don't know what the breed of the dog was, but it was white and fluffy and about yay big. 
and it came running out up to boss. Now, obviously, I had control of boss because as much as I hate having to use one, I need to use the chain that the vets recommend because all the harnesses in the world don't make any difference. My dog is heavier and stronger than I am. Um, and he starts going insanely crazy because that's what he does and the woman picked up her dog and sort of backed away and I was like I promise he's not dangerous I promise he's just loud I'm really sorry I'm like he doesn't understand and um I think once I'd said that and and then like so she'd grabbed her dog and gotten obviously nearer her car and I was still standing on the footpath and I tried to make him shut up and I was, I asked her, look, can I ask you a question? I walk past your house all the time. You know, I wanted to know what it was about, blah, blah, blah. And by the point of that interaction, I was like, I really, I am sorry. My dog is very, very loud. He, he looks like he's scary and dangerous, but I promise he's not. And she was like, no, no, it's all good. I can tell that he's excited. And so we, me and Boss, we kept walking. Once I'd gotten far enough away, I got him to sit down and I had a little conversation with him because, as we know, I talk to my dog like I talk to people. I didn't know there was a different way to talk to animals, but what a, you know, it is what it is. And that's when I had my epiphany. As I was telling Boss, I was like, baby, I love you. I know you don't understand. I was like, but when you get this excited and you start barking and jumping and carrying on and pulling, I'm like, nobody knows that you're excited and you just want to make friends. They see this scary, dangerous dog that they must get away from. And I'm like, and that's why you and I struggle. I'm like, you struggle and the, the people don't want their dogs around something they think is going to attack theirs. And that makes absolutely perfect sense obviously yeah and that's when it hit me i am who i am we are all aware of this today is 246 days in a row that i've been making videos okay we've seen me in all sorts of extremes yeah um and i sort of had this like aha uh -huh moment while i was having this conversation with boss because I've been trying to make new friends, right? And we all know it's a little harder when you're an adult than it is when you're a kid, of course. But I very much ask people. So if you watch my psychology sessions, I wasn't the last one. Might have been the one before. I can't remember. Um, and I will at some point figure out how to make sense and how to search stuff. But that's really far at the bottom of my to-do list these at the moment. Um, but I realized like when I meet people and I want, and like, how do I, right, let me try this again. When I meet people, I'm just so overly excited when I'm in other people's company, right? Because of like, so connected to everything and everyone at a spiritual level I become extremely yeah excited is a good word like I you can you can see it in me I'm assuming I can't see what you will see except for what I watch on my videos um but I you know I talk too fast and I talk too loud and I overshare because that's literally my life I overshare according to society all the time right that's why I do my storytelling um and, and I think that's what's been like making me confused because I meet people and they act like they're really happy they've met me. You know, most people are like, you know, it's, it's refreshing because no one is as upfront and as blunt as I am. And as I've said, I'm a lot nicer about how I do it these days um, because there is a right way and a wrong way to say things. But there's also like a high vibrational and a lower vibrational. And there's all these different things that are all interconnected, yeah? But I think I'm scaring people off without actually realizing it. Because I have, unfortunately, had people actually tell me to my face that I can be very scary and intimidating. I don't see that. I mean, okay, if I was raging... Sure, absolutely. I would I would understand that. But as odd as it is, except for that dickhead the other day, well, 
was going to say, the only time I really rage is if it is involving someone I love or if it's something that genuinely matters to me. Like, I don't rage about other shit, yeah? So the other night when it happened, it was his stuff, but he tried to make it my issue because of how I feel um, about Mr. X. And as I'm going to continue to say to people, not one single person's opinion about how I feel about Mr. X means anything to me at all. We're like, I'm talking, this is eight years of a story, yeah, so it's, it's not any, yeah, as I said the other day, the only time I get really mad in those sorts of situations is because I'm mad at myself for getting mad in the first place, <laughs> hence I'm in therapy, right? <laughs> Oh, I do crack myself up, but like I said, um, I think I'm like my dog. We both get very overly excited. We both just react in a way that is um, causing the opposite like results that we want. I would love to make new friends. He would like doggy pals to play with. Uh, effectively, we spend most of our time together because, I don't know, what do I know, right? Um, though, I'm very grateful to Andrew because he's one of my closest friends and not just because he's my neighbour, <laughs> but because I genuinely think he's cool and I always feel better after I see him. And since he watches these, I will say directly to you, I always feel better after I see you. So thank you for not running away and being scared like so many others are. <sighs> but, so, an actual update on where I'm at, though, with life is I do seem to spend an awful lot of time helping other people, especially with uni, which I find somewhat amusing because, 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 Fucking Wizard of Oz, eh? I swear to God, it's always in my head, eh? Um, I think because I'm at the point where I'm at with my stuff, and it's like, you know, it's almost like, now that I'm thinking about it, because I, I've explained before, I don't want to do psychology anymore after this degree. I've known that the whole time. I've just been lying to myself. Very easy to do. I think we all do it about some stuff. Except that, as I said to Randy, the reason I keep bringing it up a lot is because I know when, not even like subconsciously, but like semi-consciously, for like much since basically the time I put the notes on the wall and I didn't actually do what the fuck I said I was going to. So, yeah. But um, I am in a good place with my assignment, I think mostly because what grade I get doesn't matter and I know as I've said that if it's less than 17 there's a highly good chance I'll get cranky at myself so it's almost as if and I'm only realizing this as I'm talking to all of you it's almost as if by helping everybody else who is like and, and so I put out a message today into the group chat saying, hey, um, is there anyone else still working on their first assignment? Because as I said, yesterday's seminar was about the second assignment. So obviously now the majority of the group chat are all focusing on assignment number two. And I'm still sitting here working on number one. Not the only one. There are many of us out there. And you can tell by their re reactions and what they were saying, they were quite stressed. So I sent individual messages to everyone that responded in the group chat. And obviously I let them know, I was like, blah, 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 check your, your messages, I've messaged you directly. And um, so I've written my intro, I think at least four or five times now. I've definitely done my methods, I've done my results, I've done all of that. I thought I'd done most of my references. Cannot believe there are. 
I'm usually one of those people who is so good with my references and yet I went to do something today and I was like, what the fuck? It's not in my reference list. I literally have had to print out just my references, right, to go through what I've got and then make sure they're all matched up and I truly just can't believe what's happened. But they're not all there, so I'm a little confused and it's a little time consuming, so I spent some time on that today, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, so I've helped heaps of people. And it's almost as if by helping others, I know that if I get less than 70, for example, which in the big scheme of things makes no flipping difference because I've already got my grades, I'm already invited and will be accepted into philosophy honours, so awesome. Um, if I get less than 70, it's like I've done my best, I've worked my ass off, I've helped other people, it doesn't matter. Like, I'm preempting not, like, I'm preempting, I think we all know what I'm trying to say, yes? Um, like, it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. And I need to make a video for work about perfectionism. And I just think it's hilarious because, let's face it, that's obviously what I'm doing. I could have submitted my assignment by now. The only thing I need to write, basically, is the abstract and the discussion. And I could have done it. It's just that I don't want to do it without the intro being correct in the first place. <sighs> anyway, I've got until next Friday. Faith has had to reschedule, so she was coming to stay tomorrow night. <laughs> Side note, because I think this is funny. <laughs> she had messaged me going, I start work earlier the next day. Um, is it okay if I come a bit earlier so then we can spend more time together because I'll have to leave early on the Saturday morning? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. So yesterday I messaged her and I was like, you know, what time are you thinking? And she's like, oh, I'm thinking maybe I'll be there around seven-ish. I couldn't help it. I laughed my head off. I was like, oh my God. Like, I don't, oh, like, I don't actually think I'm old. Like, 36 is young. Very young, in my opinion. Um, but I said to her, I was like, gosh, I must be old in some sense. I was like, because 7 p.m. is not early for me. I'm like, three or four? That's early to me. But yeah. But she's um, had to cover a, a shift at work. So... She's coming on Sunday night, and I told my boss, I was like, I will make the video while she is here, because she's obviously the one that came to Queensland with us, um, I was like, because for whatever reason there is, I was like, making the professional videos, it's a lot harder than making these videos, um, because I just automatically overthink those videos, um, whereas these ones, I don't really for put, the only thing I knew I was going to mention today was my epiphany from having the conversation with boss on our walk. But it is 3.41 in the afternoon. I've just about hit 23 minutes. So I'm sure there are probably things I haven't finished. I'm fairly certain that I didn't finish all of my points yesterday, which is odd because I've actually watched it and I don't remember. <laughs> but this is the life of Liv. This is where I'm at. I have hit 23 minutes and 15 seconds. So I'm going to say I'm sending love to you all. I know you're all doing your absolute best. I truly believe that. Um, high vibrations. We're all connected. And wish me luck. Group therapy. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.